the last episode of Definition Shorts, we have talked about Red Hat OpenShift database access and I've done initial configuration from an administrator point of view. Let us now take this to the next level. Hi guys, my name is Karan Singh, Senior Principal Architect and Developer Evangelist at Red Hat. And in this episode of Definition Shorts, I will demonstrate how to use Red Hat OpenShift database access, cloud database instance in a Node.js based Pac-Man game app. Let's get started. Let us begin by creating a new project called as De Definition Pac-Man. So click on all projects, create project, Definition Pac-Man and create. So now this is a blank new project and first we're gonna deploy a Pac-Man application which is a Node.js application that uses MongoDB to store all the high scores and the scores of the users who are using Pac-Man game. And then we will deploy, we'll use uh, Roda to enable connectivity of the cloud database. So here's the link to the Git repository. We'll copy the link and go to OpenShift Web Console, click on add and import from a Git repository. We'll paste in the URL of the Git repository containing the code for Pacman. And as I mentioned before, it's a Node.js uh, application. Mm -hmm. We'll just go with the defaults here and click on the create button, which will try to create the app using the source code available from, from GitHub. Meanwhile, this is coming up. Let us now add a cloud database for this application to function properly. We'll again click on add and from here we'll use cloud hosted database. This style has been enabled by Roda. So once I click on cloud hosted database and select MongoDB Atlas database service, we need to just add it to the topology. And once it is in the topology, we will select the instance that we're gonna use in our namespace. So we'll click on cluster zero is that instance name we're gonna use for this application. And we'll again click on add to topology and we'll use service binding instruction We'll click continue here. This might take a few seconds. All right, so we now have Roda Cloud Database Instance resource up and running. And we also have our Node.js Pacman app deployed. However, the app is failing because if you see the logs, the app is unable to find the database details, the database connection strings. Hence, the containers for Pacman app is failing. Let's see the logs. So as you can see, the application is unable to find the URL to connect to the database instance. So to solve this, we'll go to the topology view. We'll use the power of service binding operator, which will use point to click feature. And we just need to kind of drag the application into the service binding for the Roda and we just drop this and create a service binding using the button create. So under the hood, it will create all the required secrets and mount that back to the container of the application and restart the app. All right, so our Pacman app is now up and running. If we click on this little arrow, which will open up the application front end, we'll see the Pacman UI and we can then click to play the Pacman game. So let me see how I do this. All right, so we are now into the Pacman app, which is using MongoDB database provisioned by Red Hat OpenShift database access. If I click on high scores, it will kind of fetch all the data from MongoDB and show it here, right? And I can always go back and click on the new game and uh, I want to restart, yes. And boom, my app is up and running, which is storing all the scores in MongoDB database. Let's move forward and uh, yeah, so this is a simple demo I want to show you guys to show you the power of Red Hat OpenShift database access and how it could be used with, a, with an application of your choice. 
All right, so that's all in this episode of Definition Shorts. If you have any feedback or questions about this or any other episode of Definition Shorts, do reach out to me via email or Twitter. See you in the next video.